I'm Holly Burke. How old are you? Ten. Ten? Alright. Uh, can you describe your program for me? It's really fun. Is it? And you learn a lot. Yeah. What is it called? Kill Devil. Kill Devil? Cool. Uh, what are the age groups? Age groups? Uh, five. Five? When you're in grade five. You're in grade five. Cool. Um, what is the aim of the program? Aim is to learn about um, ab Aboriginal people. That's good. Um, what happens in your program? You, um, you go for hikes, you learn, you learn about Aboriginal, and, um, you're in these little groups that you do all kinds of activities with. Really? Um, how do you know the program is successful? Because it's really fun. This is really fun. What kind of uh, activities do you guys do? Well, we went down to the ocean, and the ocean was kind of like it was muddy, and we had to we got a sheet, and we had to look for those special things. And cool. Do you remember any of the things you liked about Aboriginal people? I learned some of the songs because we sang them every single time that we ate, and I learned about like. I learned about what they did in the past, and Pretty cool. Did you guys get to make anything? Um, we got to make a stick, because it was um, the last group of the year, and we got to make, um, like we had like a ribbon, and then we put beads and feathers on it and make it a talking stick. It's pretty cool. From your perspective, what is Indigenous education? What do you learn? What did you learn about being uh, about Aboriginal? We learned hmm. we learned that um that they had a that they had like special kind of outfits and and they made they made special things out of um like wood and bark and stuff like that. What do you think is important to learn for kids to learn about Aboriginal people? It's important to learn that they use stuff that we didn't have today and they so they use like bark and wood and like normally we sometimes like it would be like boats now would be like more advanced than just like wood and bark and in what ways do you pass on the knowledge you carry about that um, experiences you have we we like talk about we talk about it in class all the time like yes. what we learned in kill level and um, you can like show, like we made a baggie with all kinds of healing, like seeds and scents in there. And um, we can show that to the people that have, have never been to Kill Devil. So you can tell them that that was the one of the things that we made in Kill Devil. Um, what is your vision uh, for Indigenous education over the next 10 years? So where do you think you want to go in the next 10 years? Um, I want to go, when I'm older, I want to go, um, I want to go to college, of course. Mm -hmm. And, and I want to, I want to learn more about Aboriginal. So that, so that I know more knowledge and I, and I just like to know knowledge. I just like to know. What was your favorite part of the program? My favorite part was um, how my favorite part was like like I talked about earlier was like the mud part where the ocean <laughs> and um, you would look for things. I found that really fun. You might want to ask her about the uh, do you remember the, the cultural lesson, Holly, in the wigwam? 
can do. Yeah. A little bit? A little bit. You remember the, how everything goes in a circle? Yeah. Mm. Not really? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. How everything went in a circle. Um, there's also the smudging ceremony that occurs, right? Do you remember that? Mm. So, do you want to tell us a bit about the cultural lesson that you learned? The cultural lesson. Lesson the week long. Um, so it was there was a lesson, and we had there was like different pieces of the puzzle all around, all in the week long, and uh, we had to find the different pieces, and then we had to put it all together. And um, there was a message, and it said, "Don't waste things or something. Don't waste food or take all that you take only that you need." So you like a lot? Yeah. That's good. And did you also do a smudging ceremony? Yeah. Um, so all, all the so all the smoke went around when they smudged. Only the like only really like the adults got to smudge themselves because it would take a while for all of us to do it. But like all the smoke was going around and then we could just do it to ourselves if smoke came near to near us. Did you find that you, you changed at all from taking part in the program? Yeah, because um I I now know that like when you go when you go places, like let's say you go fishing or something like that, you don't need to like take like ten or something. That because, like, you only take what you need, and sometimes, like, I would have, uh, before, um, before Kill Devil, I probably would have taken, like, four or five, <laughs> so I could, like, save it for more, for, like, other times, but now I know to only take, like, one if I need it. If you were going to tell someone else about this program, what would you want them to know? I would want them to know that it's really fun and you learn a lot about the a lot about Aboriginal people and what they did in the past. And you also get to spend time with your friends in cabins and like it's just a like a big sleepover and that's really fun.